Hello, welcome to this video. I wanted to add a bit of context. I went to Rome. This is part two. I already did part one, but there's no there's no intro or outro for either of them because I thought I don't know I don't know why I just didn't. There's no intro. There's no outro. So this is this is that. If you want to see part one, go and see it. We would went to the Vatican and we did. It was just our travel day. And then this video is the Colosseum, Spanish Steps and everything else. There is like a one second room tour at the end because I completely forgot to do it. Um, I'll put it down where we stayed below and yeah, enjoy watching. Bye! <laughs> Here at the Trevi Fountain. Can you hear me? Are you are you enjoying this uh, Rome ASMR? We are on our way to the Colosseum. We just walked past the Roman Forum, but we're going to do that on the way back. And it looks great. I can't wait to recreate Lizzie McGuire. So we've got tickets for the Colosseum now, and I don't know if I already said this, but wait, there, it's there. So we're going to go go in in like fifteen minutes. In so yeah. Wow, wow, wee! Look at that! Wait, wait, I didn't even get it in. Amazing. <laughs> Doing so well at this. Italy. So we just recorded a TikTok. Um, I hope you go and watch it from the Liz McGuire movie, you know, when she performed in the Coliseum. Um, I think we successfully did it very well. Yeah, Hello, I just wanted to jump in here and add a bit of context. So basically, 
we had our lunch in this restaurant quite late um it was probably like half three four time and then we kind of ambled back to our hotel obviously went back through the Trevory Fountain way um the Pantheon way Piazza Navona way that sort of thing and the Colosseum was the furthest away tourist attraction for us anyway so it did take quite a while to walk back um just chilling and then we went back to our hotel chilled for a bit and then got ready for our night out if it was clubs weren't open in Italy yet but we had decided before we came that Friday night was going to be our our big night so we would just drink more stay out longer because basically we had a free day on Saturday all we wanted to do was see the Spanish steps and that was it so we were in no rush basically um could stay up as late as we wanted and yeah I just thought we would add some context there so we just went to this bar in Piazza Navona which was like the only bar that had some sort of atmosphere and um also if you see that our group size increases we made friends and it was great and I loved it We've come to a bar and we still have the menu. See ya. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let the subway out in at night. <laughs> We've come back to the Navona place and we are um, going to the Spanish steps. Thank you so much for watching i just wanted to add on about the ticket people at i mentioned it in my previous video my previous rome video about the vatican and also it happened at the coliseum as well no one told us about this and also just be really careful about it i did research before i went so i watched loads of like travel videos i watched loads, read loads of vlogs and stuff like that and nothing mentioned it but basically you can buy tickets on the door if someone talks to you and is like, I work, I'm, I'm a worker, I'm like an actual worker, whatever, I work for Coliseum. No, they don't. The only people who actually work for the tourist attraction are the people inside the tourist attraction or like literally on the gate. Um, so if someone's like, do you have a ticket? And you're like, no, do not fall for it. 
They're normally for guided tours as well. And to be honest, with the amount of information that is there, you don't need a guided tour. But also they do audio tours for like seven euros and a guided tour is like 17. You don't need it. Don't fall for it. Obviously, unless you want a guided tour. But like I said, I don't think you need it. Um, and it's really easy to get caught out. It's really convincing. So the we went to the Vatican on the Thursday and got caught out. Well, we didn't get caught out because like I knew that the price was weird and it was just a weird situation. I was like, well, no, which is why I went to McDonald's and then sorted it out, sorted tickets out online. Um, and the day after we went to Coliseum and almost got caught out because we looked, we must have looked sceptical to the guy because the guy was like, no, no, I, like I'm, I'm genuine, I work here. And we were like, right. So what we did again was we went to get a drink, um, bought tickets online, but just ignore them. Just say like, and also, if you pretend that you don't speak their language, they're going to speak a different one. <laughs> so it doesn't work doing that. But um, yeah, ignore them. Just walk past them or just say that you already have a ticket. Don't be stopped by them. I just thought I'd add that in because it's something that I just didn't hear about at all. And I think it's really important because people can get caught out and lose, like, double pay double for the same thing that everyone else is getting. I don't think that's fair. Anyway, yeah, bye. Now we'll go on to the outro. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that Rome adventure thing. It was such an amazing trip. And the food is amazing. And I, as soon as I got back, I wanted to go again, to be honest. Because um, even not even not for the tourist attractions, just for walking around and having the food, honestly, is a shout. Thank, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope to be able to go somewhere again soon, but I'm not sure but i really want to go traveling again now that everything is basically open as normal like pre-pandemic i really want to go i don't want to go on my own though i'm a bit apprehensive i'll probably go to france on my own but like i've been to france so many times i don't really want to go there but yes thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye